That's not your friend out there yesterday. yesterday. And disrespect my yeah. gangster. And told me you want to fight me, he's going to do me something, right? You heard that, right, CC? Yo, so you're going to let, so you're going to let, look, so you're going to let, as in yesterday, ruin whatever you something, and I know he's pussy, he can't do me nothing. Yes, that ends our friendship right there, because I'm really a gangster. What happened now? You got to understand who I am, and you got to realize that's what he does when you try to play with him in this gangster. So what's up? What's up? What's going no, on? I, I, I get what you're saying, but when Yo, people... listen to me. I'm not going to lie to you, CC. Listen to me, my point. CC, I'm one of the realest gangsters nigga you've met in your whole life. Every nigga you've seen around me, nobody can stop me. I put that on my son's soul. Whenever I'm ready to go, nobody can stop me. And you think they, they didn't tell you that part about me? Huh, CC? <laughs> They never yeah, told yeah. you that Ty Mac is one nigga you can't talk to. You can't tame. Nobody listen to him. Not a rapper. You, CC, how you think I made your show? I made Meek Mills come on your show. Jim Jones come on your show. Trav MBB come on your show. All these niggas came to the CC show because of Ty Mac Billy. I made them until it got hot and you was doing all this extra shit and everybody started screaming the police. That's why they left. But I stayed because you was calling my phone and you said, let's start acting. CC, we didn't get a Netflix deal. A white nigga didn't call us and say, let's do a Netflix deal for a couple of million dollars to do the CC show. And I told you I'm not a comedian or an actor. I cannot do That's it. A I'm fact. Lying. That's a fact. I'm lying to you. Nah, niggas turned down a million dollar deal. That's I turned down million dollar deal. You called me as a friend with some white niggas saying he want to make a whole show about the CC show. And I told you this was acting. It's comedy. And I have an image. And I don't play that shit. I'm not going to do that TV show for millions of dollars. Can I tell him that? Yeah. No, so but is, we both we both told him that. Don't just say yeah. I just not, like, you said the same thing too. I'm not gonna and, say and, and and it wasn't just because of that. It's because of niggas didn't know what was going on. We wasn't ready yet. If them yes, white niggas called back, That's if true. them if them we white niggas called back right now, show. yes, we was. You're right. We were still trying to understand the show for the. If them white niggas called back right now, we on the first. We on the first. Yeah, we on the first thing. Them white niggas call us back right now. We gonna do it. You know I'm gonna do it. I need them one. So stop. Yeah. Yeah, I cut need that, cut that, I'm not going to I'm going to turn down Marion. But why are you arguing, why, why are you arguing with Blickham, though? No, Blickham comes out to work and starts saying, mind your business, because he's sucking Poochie dick, the Poocho kid, because that, that's their big sleeves for the whole street. I'm not mad at him. I don't know him to talk about him. I never met him. I don't think I'm mad at him. I'm just saying, at the end of the day, y'all need got Max Payne. It's time to get busy. I never heard of Blood. But Blickham is your man, though. No, he was my man. He tried to bother me and come up here today and tell me what I could do. When you my man, that's it. How you think somebody's your man when they see that you mad, they come on your live or anywhere in your life and call you and tell you what to do? That's not your friend. He's supposed to rock with you. Or don't even act like you got nothing to do with it or go to, go to bed and go to sleep. I'm lying? I'm lying to you, gangster? Yo, you, you, nah, Yo, you, you, you right. See, like you see. arguing with all your friends in this shit, No, bro. these are not my friends. Let me show you who's my friend. All jokes aside, Tom Mars and Telly is my real friends. And... Um, so nobody else is your friend? No, I don't know them niggas like that. No, I don't know. I know Jeezy Moolah as my day one friend. He was a little kid, grew up in my hood. He used to hang no. out with one of my one of my next rich friends, and he had a rich son, and they used to chill out together. Jeezy Moolah was a spoiled bitch. They used to buy him bikes, take him to movies, feed him yo, popcorn. Look. That's yo, like look. That. That's how your, I know Jeezy Your Moolah. friend, your friends is locked up. So yes, you, you, like not saying like that. You yes. just, you just out here just beefing. You just beefing with your so called friends. Now like you just beefing with everybody. Right? I'm not really beefing. I'm just exposing. Them. There's no beef. Whenever they pull up, they want to get busy. That's when it's beef. But for right now, I'm just exposing them. Cause Mula act like he's a rich nigga in jail. And long story short, his mom's still living in the hood. Why you got? Why you? I'm, I'm hurting feelings. And why you bringing up? Mula could buy a, bitch, if you, a chain named J. Chris, little sister, a chain, but he didn't buy his mother that chain yet. If you're gonna if, if you're gonna talk about anybody, yeah. talk about him. Don't bring a nigga mother in this. A nigga I'm not, not gonna talk about your mother. You, I am talking about him. Why he caps on the gram and show that? I just said it. I didn't disrespect him or his mother. I said, didn't Mula buy J. Chris sister a chain, but he didn't buy his mother that. That's what I'm saying. Why would he buy a bitch a chain and he didn't buy his mother the chain first? If he's so rich, why is your mother still in the hood if you're so rich? I'm just giving you real affirmation about being a real person. If you're really rich, stop fronting on the grand buying all these fucking fake Cubans and shit and acting like they're yours and you put like $20 on it and you tell them when you come home from jail, you give them the rest of the money. Stop, stop acting like when you pulled up in that Bentley truck, that's gonna happen too. You know what I mean? I'm not giving Jay Chris clout. I'm just showing what his sister is. I got y'all, because we going viral. So cool, what's going on? You listen, you hear me, CC? Yeah. yeah. So cool. Saying? So long story short, why is he doing all this shit on Instagram front like he got all this money, but he's suffering and his family's still suffering? Tom Mars is not rich. You know Tom Mars is Tom you know Tom Mars is um, Moolah real cousin. You know every time Tom Mars ran up a bag and got money, Moolah, all his friends hated on him, didn't like him. He had to always argue with niggas and ask them why y'all niggas mad at me for getting money. 
You didn't know that? I'm really talking some real truth shit that niggas wanted to fight Todd Mars when he really finally ran up a bag and made so much fucking money more than Jeezy Moolah he wanted to hate on his own cousin and call him all types of names. Moolah really in love with Dolly, bro. Sucking Dolly pussy. Roddy Rebel calling Dolly. Justin calling Dolly's really a top elite girl, bro. She plays in California where these rich niggas is really at. Jeezy Moolah never even been to California. He's a fucking dick sucker. He don't know what type of niggas Dolly really be around to act like he's Jeezy Moolah to stop her from doing what she wants to do. You understand what I'm saying to you? Yo, yeah. but look, this is this is all this is all from from yesterday. Yesterday, over the phone call. he was on the phone with us. We was trying to get back my Instagram, and he said something about yo, you know, Todd Mac let um Weezy slap the shit out of his man, and he didn't do nothing about it. And what I said after that, yo, Moolah suck my dick, and that's where it all started from. Because you said somebody hurt my friend in front of me, and it hurted me that bad. That person that he said about is my real friend. I will cry if something happened to him. I won't cry for Moolah. I don't know Mula. He was my day one friend. He watched me be a gangster growing up in Canarsie. He was butt. He was moving around the whole Canarsie till he moved out of the hood. He had problems with everybody in the hood. He's just a running around with his pussy ass self. He's not nobody. So let me show you about himself now. He's not even the most. Stop texting me. Whoever texts me from these numbers that even got my phone number, stop texting me. I don't want to see y'all niggas texting me. No, you're fucking up my gram. So cool. Moolah was never like that, you know what I mean? And I never would hate on Ty Mons. He's just so official. He saved Moolah's life and made him become the ape. He was getting dojered and punched out by Poochie and these niggas. You understand now? Remember, he was something before he was ape. You understand what I'm saying to you? Do you understand me, Cece? You hear me? Yeah. All right, cool. So now we get back to the bigger point about everything while I expose him. Out of respect, you thought Mula was smart enough to take down a video and the song just by me telling him suck his dick? You thought he was that much gangster to do that to me after all that work I put in? Actually, that was a real move as a man. And then that's he, really who he took Moolah down the video. He took down the whole video for YouTube and the song. And then lied and put it back on the gram and say he's a Bobby Shimmerda disc. So you respect a nigga like that? That watched me put in all that work. I did the song in four hours. I dropped the video in four days, and it dropped on three days after the video was done. I did you, the song less than look, a week. Mac, there's a difference between you when somebody say yo you're sucking dick and suck my dick you so know what's what? the difference right i don't care if he said he can't even, listen let me show you so you can't even mention the conversation with dick in it because i'm talking that billy now you know the difference so look if a nigga say yo, you know how a nigga like say you and your man and, and a nigga yes. be like yo nah this nigga young flea and you might tell him nah yo bro you yo you wilding right now yo, no i never dick. mentioned dick in a conversation with real men i never no no i'm just dick. saying no you know what like, i do this is what Moolah said. You're a dick. Look, just hear me. Just hear me. Say that. You yes, know how a nigga be, say it's you and your man, and your man give a nigga a compliment, but like one, like an OD compliment. Like, you're not. Yes, that nigga. I, he, never he dick, I never say dick in it. No matter and, how and you And the play, nigga be like, and, and you might I tell him, I never use yo, a conversation wild, with boy. dick in it. I never use a conversation with dick in it. Why do you think I'm using it so much? No matter how much you see me in your life, you ever hear me tell a nigga suck my dick? Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Suck my dick is different between that's what I'm your, saying. your You ever hear me say that? I don't say that unless I feel a nigga need to be said that because that's how he feels. That's how he talks. You understand now? Do you understand? I don't even use dick in a conversation with people. Yeah, certain niggas don't play that. Some niggas just, I'm one of them niggas. I'm from the 80s. I don't play that. You know what I mean? You know Moolah tell me shut the fuck up? You know I told that man a thousand times, don't you ever in your life tell me shut the fuck up? You know no human being on life can walk up to me and tell me shut the fuck up. That's how tough I am. Nobody on earth can even tell me that. Do you know who you're talking to, CC? Try it. <laughs> I, I, I correct you right there. I said, boy, don't you ever in your mouth open up your mouth to tell me shut the fuck up. I will max pain your ass right now. You understand that now? You understand that? Who I really am? You know I don't answer to nobody. I'm not a real right groupie. I don't answer to Jeezy Moolah. And a lot of my niggas don't answer to that nigga neither. We don't answer to no fucking Jeezy Moolah. I don't answer to him. He baited me up and tried to put me out there and look what I did for his pussy ass because he's mad at Scrap and Dolly. And look, he took the video down. Who him? Tell me how respectful you have for a man that seen me do all that work and the whole world loved that talent and said, Tomek has the best drill song of the summer and you take it down because I tell you suck my dick. How tough is that? What does it have to do with the principle of the money? The principle of me being a gangster and you're supposed to be a manager and you're trading your position and act like you could fuck with me. He thought he could talk to everybody else like that because he did. He, you saw how he talked to his friends on the phone. Keep it real, CC. You watch how yeah, you bro, talk friends, to friends, friends could talk to friends however no. they want to talk. Sorry, zip it. No, you're my friend. You're going to talk to me with a lot of respect like I talk to you. You ever see me disrespect me and have a conversation with you yet, CC? Nah, but you I'm... You never noticed that we but, don't but get to that you're point? You're right, you're right. Certain, certain relationships is different type of relationship. 
Certain friendships are different. If I knew a nigga for ten, if I knew a nigga for ten years, uh, and, and, and he say suck my dick, I, I'm, I'm gonna take it on the hop. That's my real no, then, friend. Then that's your generation. I'm, take, I swear I'm, I'm, God, take, I'm gonna take, take it on the hop. That's my real hop. friend. I'm just telling that's you, my real friend. I'm telling if you, I knew a nigga, for, real if I knew a nigga for one year, it, it might be different. I respect, right, you, you I respect that you love your friends, but you should never make your friend disrespect your morals, your honor, your dignity as a man, and tell you to suck your dick, and you thought he was still your friend. That's what I'm trying to show you. Moolah Ben did it. Do you know that Moolah told me suck your dick like a couple of years ago? And once he said that, I didn't even argue him back. I just hugged him up the phone, and he never talked to me for like two, three years. Then he came home, and he was my friend when he came home because he saw me hanging out with his cousin, Tom Moss, and he wanted to be my friend so bad because I was Tom Moss' and sport friend. And he wanted to be our friend. You know, he told Sport and Tom Moss suck his dick, and them niggas never talked to him again. He had to beg to be Sport and Tom Moss' friend. True story. You don't remember that? And he tried to jump in one of Tom Moss' new video. Nobody respects him. Moolah tells us suck his dick first, and then we tell him back. He think nobody could just tell him that. He think he's just that tough. Do you understand what I'm saying? Do you hear me? So why not just not speak to him no more? That's what I did. I hanged up the phone on him yesterday and not speak to him, and then he took down a video and then called me this morning and tried to threaten me. About my Addy. I, I didn't know about the call this morning and try to threaten, but... Yeah, he did call I, me this morning. You, you, it, it, you, you was better off not speaking to him no more. I instead did. Of just, I, instead yo, of going... Yo, when, look, you, li listen. you live right... But you live, you live right now kind of telling his business. Yes, that is his business. What's his business? That he's pussy? That's everybody's business. He's a rapper. Why he's faking like he's some super top savage? And the niggas that he was under in the blood said, pushed him out. He had to run and get help from other bloods. If you're a savage, you let your nuts hang and you keep on writing through that shit and show everybody in that whole set who you are. But no, he ran. He's pussy. He switched over. You ever heard me switch a set? I've been non. I've been non trace since two thousand and five. We in two thousand and twenty two when the gates reopened. I turned non trace. And you gotta and you gotta realize. Look, say that when you go live and talk about a nigga you used to be friends with, it, you know it ain't no. He was never problem. my friend. I just told you something. I was not jacking. All right, him. I'm just saying like it. It, it it ain't no it, it he, not saying right, like that it ain't no about, it ain't no but this this about to be a yo I'm sorry all right bro, listen I want to cut you short what you know about all jokes aside that I can't call Jeezy Mula he got to call me all right so when he calls me it was a setup that he mad at Scrap and Dolly for being friends because Dolly posted Scrap on Instagram it's all over Dolly bro you're not listening. It's a heart nigga with his heart broken by the pussy. And then he's mad because Scrap came on Instagram and said he's not really the big woo. And none of them is really the big woo. Scrap is 1090 and Moolah's supposed to be real right. What is a woo? So why everybody's mad about the truth? You know what I'm saying? Y'all want to live in a fabrication of a false lies. And the truth is out from a nigga who really knows because he was there. And a nigga that understands everything because he was there. So why should I spare Moolah today? Because he disrespect my gangster. Don't you know anybody disrespect my gangster? This is how it goes. You, know, you don't notice that? Anybody disrespect my gangster, this is how it goes. To every human being on earth. And I want beef for anybody and everybody on earth if they disrespect my gangster. Now, if you don't, I'll be your friend. I respect you. I never disrespect you first. That part. You can see his groupie friends in the background. You didn't notice that when the call came back in, his cop calling me, asking me what I'm on, the pussiest nigga in America to ask me what I'm on. So that makes me go more crazy because I don't know how he even made up that mind. So now they think in my friendship of them liking me and they think they know me that I'm playing in the streets and I'm playing with this gangster shit that will happen to me and Mons already. I'm not playing with nobody, CC. CC, you heard about me and what happened to Mons, right? Yeah. You think I'm playing with any human being in the street after today or from that day? You think anybody could tell me something as long as I live on earth? I don't see a nigga even call me and ask me if your son needed a, if he wanted some juice. You know who you're talking to? <laughs> Nobody even said your son wanted juice. You think they called me and gave me some money and say, take care of your son, make sure everything is good. You think Moolah get all that money, call me and say, yo, Tom Mac, I saw what happened to you and your family. Here, hold something down. You think he ever called me and gave me $5 when that happened? No, he tried to make me a pawn, throw me in the game, make me a rapper, because he know everybody going to jack me, and I'm so lit, and then I do it, and after that, I bring out real right behind it, and he's trying to make me a pawn, and then he want to take down the whole video, and you think that's respectful as a friend to do that? You think somebody should have ever did something like that to a man ever in life after work was being put in and done? That type of craft of work, that video, that song, that everything, that energy, I'm the best drill rapper this whole fucking summer ever seen. You ain't seen no music like that this summer yet. I'm not talking about Little Baby and Dirk and all of them. You know, they're in the mainstream. I'm oh, so you're, saying, so you're saying this is bigger than the phone call yesterday? Yes, it's bigger than the phone call now. So you've just, been felt the type of way? No, I felt the type of way because I waited all night. I woke up this morning and didn't see the video on TV. I didn't know. 
I looked at it. The only thing I saw was a Bobby Shimmerda diss track. Go on YouTube right now. I would never disrespect Bobby Shimmerda. I never met Bobby Shimmerda in my life. And I know GS9. I met Rowdy. I met a lot of GS9 niggas. I know a lot of niggas from GS9. But I never met Bobby Shimmerda. I would never disrespect Bobby Shimmerda. I never seen him, never met him, never talked to him. I would never say nothing bad about that kid. It's never no diss track to that nigga. You know what I'm saying? Got a GoFundMe account. Blick him. You just want attention. You know what I mean? So that's all that was about. Nobody's never crying. I'm just real nigga shit. Y'all don't know me. I'm really a savage to everybody. Nobody never gave me no dollar. Nobody never took care of me. Nobody never helped me. Nobody had to buy me an outfit. While they buying this nigga Moolah all his outfits, that money that Moolah threw on top of that Bentley truck, none of it was his money. Chinaman been finished. There's no more Jeezy Moolah. He's living off the real rights and what Wiley and them niggas is doing. They bought him an outfit. They gave him the Bentley truck. They gave him some money to throw in the car. He pulled up and said he's flexing up. No, Jeezy. Why you think Wiley don't fuck with the real rights no more? You know, Wiley's one of the top real rights. They robbed him because he didn't want to give him $5,000 for his bail money and his lawyer money. You know that? They robbed him over $100,000 in jury. You know that? That's your friend? Uh, Moolah I don't know that. that. I know, you Wale, know that? Wale, my man, but... I know yeah, that. that's what, ask Wally what they did to him. Wally's so embarrassed, he don't want to tell him that's what real right did to him because he couldn't believe it neither. I couldn't believe it. I stuck why, with Wally why, when they... Why you, with why, you, why you telling it for Wally if he never wanted to talk about it, though? Say that. See? Yeah, let me show you why I'm telling it because one day I was with Wale and Moolah called me on the phone and thought he could tell me to violate Wale for talking to Dolly. And I'm telling Moolah I'm in the car with Wale right now. He's my friend. You can't tell me to do that. Now you see who I am? Now you see why I could talk business? Because Moolah tried to tell me to violate Wale. And I ain't gonna lie, I had a cast on and a boot on my foot. I just finished getting shot the fuck up. So I thought it was impossible to really shot a bother while they right now, too. But let's get back to the whole fact that he called me that same day and asked me to do that for him. And I told him, no, you violated Wale already. That done robbed this nigga for all his jewelry and everything. Why y'all wanna do this to Wale so much? Because he's pussy. You can't find nobody else to do that to. But why do Wale have to pay for your bills if you're so much Jeezy Moolah, this rich nigga? I ain't say I was rich. I know my family, everybody's good. I know I'm Gucci. They watch me ball every day. You watch me ball and flex up every day. I got a good outfit. I eat good every day. I still get a haircut. I got money in my pocket. I smoke a lot of weed. I have a lot of sex still. I drive a car. I move around. I went to summer jam. I went to summer jam. You know what I'm talking about? Yo. Do you know what I'm talking I'm bringing up whoever want to come up here. You gotta, I'm going to get you back in here. Dolly want to come back up here because she's finishing them too. So we finishing all these fake niggas from Canarsie. You know Canarsie's an ugly place with ugly yeah. friends and ugly backdoor niggas. You know what Moolah did to me this morning to threaten me to make me really do this? He yeah, called me and I, said, look, "I have yeah. look, say listen. That. All I'm saying he's, is, listen what Moolah told me. That's your all right. No, look, he's not my friend. Said, all right, look. This, even if that's not your friend, look. Even if that's not your friend right now or as in yesterday, you never, never again, you, never. I that, told him. Never stop, again bro. he's gonna be stop. my friend. Yo, bro, you think I need to All be right, look, friend? That's not your friend no more. I'm talking Ever about again. before yesterday. You never go live about what your your friend and talk about his business. Ever. Yeah. At I no at no at no code. That's not a that's that's a bad code. Say that. That's no, not I'm a bad saying. code a bad because code. we're not friends if you tell me you're gonna hurt me. So look, so that's, that's like if we're not friends no more, and then you just come on live and start talking about me.